Hey guys, we're back. I have Kato turned around a little bit here, and we're gonna taste this for you and see how it is. Let's start with this awesome thing. This is the banana omelet, and let me figure out how to open the box. Ah, here we go. So this is, um, this is really cool. I'm guessing, like I said, this is like a little sponge cake with banana filling. This is so cute! I knew you liked bananas. So the ends are dipped with, I'm guessing like white chocolate flavored, uh, like banana, banana flavored white chocolate, yes. And it looks like a little omelet roll. Right? Let's give this a try. Oh my god. Mmm. It smells amazing. So you can see the cream filling inside. The sponge cake itself is a little dry. Mmm. That's so good. It tastes like there's real banana in that cream filling. I'm gonna put that down so we can move on really quick. But that is so good and I wish this box was like 10 times bigger. That's really good. Um, let's get on to our Tohato brand caramel corn. We've had this in the regular caramel flavor. It tastes like Cracker Jacks. This is Mitarashi Dongo. So it's, um, it's definitely, um, like, uh, like kind of like mochi flavored, but with the, uh, with the, with the sweet soy sauce. You know. Okay, want to smell? So let's taste this one. So it's a nice, dark, like, caramelly brown color. So it tastes very similar to the original flavor. I'm not really getting too much of uh, this. There's like a slight salty. It's right on the top. That's slight salty soy sauce flavor. Because that's, like I said, that's how you make um, the sauce that goes on top of the dongo. And that's really nice. I love that caramel corn. It's like one of my favorite things. Let's try this. You want to try the peach? Peach paper? So this is uh, sour paper uh, peach candy. We're supposed to be able to unroll it like a piece of paper. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is, um, this is what it is. It's a big strip of candy that you can just like grab one little strip of and peel it. You can either eat the whole thing or you can just peel off little strips. Mmm. It's not super sour. It's got a nice strong artificial peach flavor. Kind of like um, the peach rings that we have in here in America. You're turning around again. All right, so let's do this one. This is the one that broke. This is the Mori's fruit. It was supposed to be a wafer basket with mochi candy flavor in it. Sorry, mochi candy that was flavored like fruit. Let's see if the wafer has any taste to it. So here's the wafer that was supposed to be a fruit basket. Oh, it's stale, too. It comes with a toothpick that you were supposed to be able to use to pick up the little mochis. So I'm guessing this one might be like citrus flavor. Mm. Pineapple. No? Yeah, pineapple. So each little mochi candy in there is a different fruit flavor, which is cute. I like mochi. Mochi is delicious. Well, these are gummies. This is awesome. I love gummies. Um, this one is the Mekon gummy. So this is um, a citrus flavor. Let's see if these are any sort of shape. Oh yeah. So these are shaped like little orange slices. Let's see what it tastes like. This is a, a harder gummy, like a gummy bear. Hmm. I really feel like citrus flavored gummies are underrated. I would eat these all the time. This tastes like you're eating like a clementine or a little tangerine. Mmm. It's like more on that bitter orange flavored side. It's not super sweet. I mean, it's sweet, but it has that orange essence to it. That's good. Let's try the, um, the apple cider gummies. This was just a little tiny gummy. Um, it should be a little, I'm guessing it's got like a, ooh, 
fizzy powder on it. Yeah. So it looks like a little bottle. Let's give it a shot. Mm. It's very, it's got sour powder on the outside. And it's um the artificial apple flavor. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that one better for you? Like apples now? All right. So this is, this is a gum. This is a hard candy. So this is an apple cider gum. Um, so it's going to be, you know, again, it's going to be a fake apple flavor gum. I'm not going to do gums or hard candies because this will take way too much time. Uh, this is a strawberry milk candy. So it's going to taste obviously like creamy strawberries. Again, it's a hard candy. I don't want to waste guys time on that. Um, the Fouet Ramene we've done, um, this is like, again, this is just a hard packed powder candy. You can whistle through it. And, um, you know what, let's just have a little bit of fun because I want to see what the little toy is in here. Because these come with a tiny little toy. So if you have young children, make sure you supervise them very well or don't give it to them at all. Because there's very tiny toys in these, right? What do we get here? We have, oh, that's so cute. We got a little blue baby elephant. That's adorable. I think one of them I got a grasshopper. But this is a little baby elephant. That is so cute, guys. So again, these are very, very tiny toys. Keep them away from your pets and very small children. So again, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to show you. Yeah, that got your attention. So again, keep these away from your kids unless you want to be really annoyed. So, because they are kind of loud. All right, again, this is peach gummies, or not gummies, rather. These are peach hard candies, three different flavors. Um, so there's three different, like a white peach, a sweet peach, and um, a yellow peach. Um, again, I'm not going to do hard candies. I'm guessing I'm going to tell you guys it's probably going to taste exactly like the peaches because that, that's the kind of candy this is. It's going to actually taste like a peach. All right, so let's do our last one. This is a gum, too. This is going to be sour grape. It's going to have that artificial grape flavor. Um, so again, I'm not going to do that for you guys because it just takes way too much time. Um, but this is our high chew. This is our uh, Satoka high chew. So this is a citrus flavored high chew. Uh, Japan has a lot of different fruits that are regional and you know famous for whatever flavor that region is. You know, let's see. Oh, okay. Sometimes high chews are just white. And sometimes they're the color of the fruit with the white inside. So let's give that a little try. Mm. It's nice and soft. Oh, wow. It's very much like that Mekon gummy. Mm. But this one, again, sweet. But it has that, you know how like when you peel an orange and you spray, spray the stuff out of the oil out of the skin? that kind of flavor it's nice really strong and really nice all right let's get to our last thing this is the um gabunomi melon cream soda i like melon soda but i don't like cream soda so let's give this one a shot it's a beautiful bright green color i'm guessing this little ticket here i don't know what this says if any of you guys know what this says if you can read that please let me know because it says check and it says open. So I don't know what this is supposed to be or if it's... Mm, I really don't know what that was supposed to be on there. Or if there's something inside it. I don't know. Mm, it's a mystery, guys. So let's open this up. That smells very creamy. And this isn't the color of the bottle. That's the color of the soda. I'll show you here. It is like neon green. Not something you little like typically think of drinking, but it's a beautiful color to me. I would, yeah, I would definitely prefer this if it was just a melon soda. Um, but this tastes very much like a melon soda that you literally like the bottle shows like if you dropped ice cream in it. That's what this tastes like. Like I said, I always give credit to Japan for being like spot on with their flavors. And 
you know, whether I like it or not, I always appreciate the effort that goes into making these flavors completely accurate. So that's it for May's crate. Um, June's crate is coming. It's going to be My Hero Academia uh, themed. So that's not an anime I watch, but uh, we'll see what's in that one. And we will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.